Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cybrarium. This is Jamie and I'm here with another craft. So today we're going to talk about a craft that mixes two of my favorite things, jewelry making with steampunk. So in our first video um, ever, we talked about the meaning of the word steampunk. What does it mean? Um, what are the elements of steampunk? And we're going to get into a little more of that now. So a lot of people really like to cosplay steampunk because it's a really, really fun, fun sci-fi genre um, with a lot of adventure and some really great costume accessories. Um, so today we're going to make a keychain that includes some of those accessories. The theme of time, time travel, clockwork, gears, these are all things that are right up the alley of the steampunk genre. So this keychain is um, gonna be made by you and it's a kit that I made for you guys to pick up and uh, take and make it at your house. So we're gonna do the tutorial in a few minutes. Um, but in cosplay, a lot of times um, those type of elements from steampunk or from any anything you're gonna cosplay, it um, brings in just the reminder, the feeling, the symbolism of the genre. Um, maybe you are an exact character or maybe you're just your own character, interpreting it your own way. Um, and so that's kind of what steampunk is. So I made myself a gear necklace. I made barrettes, hair combs, and they all just use a little bit of creativity and some of the symbolism around steampunk. So we have the gears, the cogs, the wheels, the steam, the um, airships, so also the fashion of Victorian era. So you have parasols and fans, pocket watches. And um, bows. But this one has been added to a little detective mirror that can be used to see behind you, maybe from your fan. I have a fan and I have a little mirror. <laughs> it can be a lot of fun. Now, my costume isn't quite ready yet, so I didn't wear the whole thing, but you do have um, sometimes top hats with um, goggles and um, some of those elements we'll be getting into later and I'm actually making myself a costume as we speak. So um, without further ado, I'll do the, um, the tutorial for you on how to do this take and make steampunk keychain uh, craft. All right, to do this craft, you're gonna need your instruction sheet that came in your kit and the kit. You'll also need some flat nose pliers. And I like to use these round nose pliers that are for jewelry making but any two small pliers will work. This is the finished keychain. And inside your bag, you'll find several items. So everybody's kit's a little bit different, but they all have this key ring with an attached chain, some jump rings that will attach all the pieces together, one large piece. See, everybody's is different. This one also is a little different. So yours is unique to you. And then it'll have some small pieces like gears and different shapes. And so lay them out in a way that you would like. Try to play with the pieces to see how they'll fit together and how you would like to attach them together. Try to notice where the jump rings will go when you go to put it together. And use one of your jump rings and your pliers to gently pull the jump ring apart at its opening so that you can put one end of the chain on the jump ring and your largest piece. Then close your jump ring with pliers. The flat nose are the best for this. And there you've already attached your first piece. So then take another jump ring, open it up, and put your next piece on. For me, I'm adding this gear. 
And I think I'm going to add it to the jump ring that's holding on the owl to the keychain. And it'll hang down the back side. This gear has another little hole on the bottom so I can attach the smaller gear in a chain down the keychain. So use another jump ring, open it up, attach the two pieces, and close it. And now it's starting to take shape. It's got a little movement, got the gears on there, and now I have this piece. I'm not sure where I want to put it. Where is it going to fit? So maybe I can take some of my extra jump rings and make a chain that will allow this big piece to hang off the side. So one jump ring isn't enough to attach it, this big piece, to my owl. So I'm going to attach one jump ring to the big piece, and then another jump ring to that jump ring, and make sort of a chain. That way I can attach one of the jump rings to a piece of the owl, and one of the jump rings to the big uh, gear and then close that jump ring. And now it's going to hang off the back. And then you have a steampunk keychain, which will remind you that adventure is everywhere. And helping me today with this craft was a couple of books that you can check out from this librarium. Um, and they all have to do with jewelry making. Now this was a keychain, but you could use the same techniques to make necklaces, to make earrings, bracelets, any kind of jewelry. And one of the books is called Boutique Wire Jewelry. And I chose this one because it has um, some elements that include these, the jump rings and the metal chains. And this is really helpful for learning tips on how to um, manipulate that metal with different tools and how to um, make some really elegant necklaces, bracelets, rings, and earrings. And this book is by Yuko Shimojima and Miki Onuma. And this can be found at the Cybrarium in our nonfiction section. We also have Making Wow Jewelry, which also includes some elements of making um, some metal jewelry with beadwork. So this one was really helpful. This one is techniques and projects for making a statement, which of course, if you're going to make steampunk jewelry, you're going to get attention and it is going to make a statement. This book is by Gay Eber with fashion photos by Candace Guy. And a really great one if it's your, if you're new to jewelry making and you need to know all of the basics, this book right here helps. It's called First Time Jewelry Making, The Absolute Beginner's Guide. So this one is for anyone who's never attempted to make jewelry before and would really love to get into the craft. This one is written by Tammy Powley, and you can learn things by going step by step with eight projects that she's included. And of course, she goes through all of the fantastic jewelry making tools that will really help you um, to be successful in your craft. All of these will be linked below, um, like we do every time, um, so that you can come and check out these books at your convenience at the Cybrarium. Mm -hmm.